Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Club Grayskull Filmation Style Evil Seed from Mattel. That's right, this is actually our second figure of Evil Seed from Mattel, but this one of course is based on his appearance in the original Filmation cartoon series. He was also the subscription exclusive figure, so let's check him out. As you can see, he comes in that same style Castle Grayskull box with the slipcover. Has this really cool cartoon logo here on the back of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe and the cool spacey theme. And then of course we've got this awesome Castle Grayskull motif all the way around the box. This of course is a slipcover that just slides right off, revealing a window in the jaw bridge that shows us our action figure within. We got the cool little uh, extra windows up here on the top. Uh, not on the sides of the box like we saw with uh, Beast Man. This is still the older style box. But you can see it does showcase our figure within. It's a little dark um, because it doesn't have the windows on the sides. But still really, really fun packaging. Rotating it around to the backside, we've got Snake Mountain in the background and this great image of Evil Seed uh, looking like he did in the original cartoon series. That great artichoke head. So let's go ahead and pull this guy outside of the packaging and take a closer look at him. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at Evil Seed outside of the packaging. Now, Evil Seed is a character that had a very unique design in the cartoon series, which means that his action figure had to basically be brand new all the way through and through. So this guy here doesn't share any parts with any existing Masters of the Universe Classics figure because he has such a unique body type. Let's start things off by taking a look at that artichoke head. He has a very uniquely shaped head, and the sculpt of this guy is really well done. They seriously nailed the likeness that makes him look exactly as he did in the cartoon series. You can see great amount of detailing all the way up here on the top of the head, and I do love the green paint job because there's some really nice shading on there. You can see it's kind of darker on the top of his head, kind of lightens up as it comes down. His face is a lighter green, and of course, He's got this awesome unique mouth with the jagged teeth on the inside and the little vine pieces hanging down on his chin that kind of looks like a little goatee. Uh, I think my only gripe about the head has to do with the eyes. If you take a look at his yellow bulbous eyes there, you'll notice that he does have some crookedly painted pupils. He kind of has the derp eyes thing going on. Now, it's not as bad on mine, but you can see that they're definitely not even. And unfortunately, I've seen a lot of folks online reporting that their uh, evil seed figures have some very wonky eyes. I'm not sure what's going on over at Mattel, but this has been a real issue this year on the Masters figures. So this is quite a shame. I really hate seeing this. I hope this is something that can get corrected moving forward. Moving down the figure, uh, he has this long robe on, which covers his entire body. Uh, it's really nice dark brown, but it does have some good shading in there, and it is made of that softer, kind of pliable plastic like we've seen on the capes in the line. Uh, this is non-removable, however. You can see it is on the figure. There's no way to really take it off. Uh, he does have a great hood folded over the back. It doesn't move. It's uh, locked in place, part of the sculpt, but it looks awesome. I mean, it's a really great sculpt. Looks as though the hood is really kind of laying down naturally on his back there. The arms come down in these longer hanging sleeves, and then he does have these larger kind of almost cartoony looking hands coming out of the ends of the sleeves. And then we come down to the bottom, which is the really unique part that I and a lot of people were very interested to see how it was pulled off, which is his legs. Because he was kind of just treated like his legs were just a bunch of vines in the cartoon series. Uh, and I really think they did a great job here. You can see that he does have individual legs in here, and it's really hard to see it with the lighting in there, um, but they're long uh, kind of vine legs that go all the way up uh, to the body there. So that's really, really cool to kind of see that. And then they spread out almost like feet. So they're nice and flat on the bottom so he can balance well. You don't have any standing issues. It looks really, really cool. And it works very well. I like that quite a bit. So, of course, the articulation is going to be very hindered, and it is very different. I mean, there's no knee bends or anything like that going on since he just has the vines for legs. So, with that said, let's go ahead and talk about the articulation on this figure, because it is a bit different than what we usually see on these Masters figures. Now, he does still have the ball-jointed head, so that can roll all the way around, side to side. You can see he's got a very skinny neck underneath that, but it sits on there very well. 
He does still have the ball joints at the shoulders, so the arms can go upwards, they can move forwards and backwards. We do have swivels at the elbow as well as an elbow bend, and then we have swivels at the wrists that are right at the sleeve cuts there, so you can rotate the wrists all the way around. Um, there does not appear to be anything in the body because he's got this very skinny, unique body underneath there. Uh, you can swivel the waist by turning the legs on the underside here. And then, of course, the leg articulation is going to be hindered by the robe that he's wearing. But also, it's not like he has any joints in the legs anyway. You can't really move the feet or anything like that. There's only one way that you're going to stand this guy. But with the design of this particular figure, this is to be expected. And it's totally fine. I think it functions very, very well. So Evil Seed comes with two accessories, both of which are really, really cool. Uh, the first one here is this really great kind of vine structure that attaches to his hand. Uh, I was really surprised that it's made of this very soft, rubbery material. It's thick and solid, but you can see it's very, very pliable. It's real flexible. And you can see there's a hand groove right there on the top, which is in the perfect shape of his right hand. So you can just place his thumb through the little slit on the side. You can put his fingers in the notches there and then it just plugs into the sleeve and that way you can make it look like he is blasting vines right out of his hand a trick that we saw in the cartoon series it looks really nice it holds really well and it's overall a very fun accessory now his next accessory is equally as fun. This is like a cool little vine construct. Uh, you can see it's made of the same rubbery material as the one we attached to his hand, but this one of course is meant for imprisoning his foes. So if we go ahead and pull He-Man up here, I want to show you this. Uh, it's very solid, like I said, it is flexible, but it's really hard to stretch. Now that's good, because you probably don't have to worry about it ripping or breaking. But it is going to take some work to kind of bend it over the figure. You can see, you got to really kind of stretch it over there, and it's going to hold very tight. But once you get that on, it looks really cool. It's just a fun, unique way to kind of display the figures there, as if they are trapped by the vines of Evil Seed. Really, really fun accessories. I love both of these. All right, guys, it's comparison time. I mentioned earlier that this is actually the second figure that Evil Seed has received. That's because he had a very different look in the 2000X MYP cartoon series. And we got a figure based on that version pretty early on into the Masters of the Universe Classics line. So you can see these two standing side by side and you can see that they don't look anything alike. They are very, very different from one another. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Club Grayskull Filmation style Evil Seed from Mattel. Overall, I really like this figure. I think it's very well done. It's really neat getting su a, such a unique looking character that's so memorable from the classic cartoon series and brought into this Filmation lineup. Uh, the only issue I have is the bad paint on the eyes. I wish that was a little straight, but otherwise, he's perfect. I think he's got a great paint deco. He's got a good sculpt. The articulation is totally fine. I love the way the vines were handled for the feet, and his accessories are just a lot of fun. Now, as I said, this guy was the subscription exclusive figure, so the only way you're able to pick this one up is if you actually subscribe to the Filmation Club Grayskull lineup. Otherwise, you're going to have to hunt him down on the secondary market. So, happy hunting, my friends! And hey guys, did you enjoy this video? Then why not hit that like button and subscribe? That way you never miss out on one of my Masters of the Universe reviews. Until next time, my friends.